This is Alan with the Grilling Network. Welcome. As you can see behind me, I have a brand new smoker. It's a 24 by 30 vertical offset smoker from Lone Star Grills. After placing my order, it took approximately six weeks to arrive, and it's a beast. The first thing you want to do after getting any smoker is season it. And with my Lone Star Grills, it's no different. In this video, I will demonstrate how to properly season your smoker and go over some of the amazing features of my brand new vertical offset smoker. Let's start off with the cooking chamber. The measurements of this vertical smoker are 30 inches by 24 inches by 36 inches. Plenty of room for any occasion. The tail true temperature gauges come standard with these offset smokers, and if you didn't know, they're the best in the industry. Lone Star Grills recommends that you spray the internal areas, including the firebox, with canola oil. For this, I'm going to be using Pam. As you see here, this is going to make the job a whole lot easier, making sure that you get all the nooks and crannies of your grill. Now let's talk about the firebox. It's 24 inches by 24 inches, made out of quarter inch thick steel, so it's quite heavy. Again, make sure we spray all areas. One cool feature is this griddle plate. It's made out of quarter inch. Looking forward to using this. Another added bonus for this firebox is this grill grate. As you can see here, it's in the elevated position, but we could definitely lower it. This is going to be great for burgers and the infamous reverse sear. I'm highly impressed with this firebox. I've owned a couple offset smokers in the past and nothing compares to this one. Again, cool touch handles and an easily adjustable vent for those low and slow cooks or if you want, hot and fast. And check this out. Here we have a half inch fire grate and it comes with a lifetime warranty. No one does that. Let's finish spraying this off. We'll see you guys back soon. Now that I've sprayed all areas of my vertical offset smoker, it's time to fire this beast up. This should take roughly 20 minutes to get going. We'll see you guys back soon. As I mentioned, we are using a full chimney of charcoal. This is Kingsford briquettes. And then to start the seasoning off, we're going to be using hickory logs. I'm going to start off with three small ones, and we'll adjust the temperature as we go along. During the initial seasoning of your smoker, it's important to maintain a temperature of 225 to 250 degrees Fahrenheit for three to six hours. As I mentioned earlier, when it comes time to spray in the outside of your pit, you want to wait until after the first seasoning. And the reason being, the paint has yet had time to cure. After the first initial seasoning, you'll be able to then apply an you know, oil on the outside, maintaining your pit. As I mentioned, the seasoning process takes anywhere from three to six hours. And during that time frame, we'll be making minor adjustments to maintain the 225 to 250 degree Fahrenheit temperature by adjusting the vent on our firebox. And we'll also be making minor adjustments on our tuning plates so that we can adjust the temperature from left to right and top to bottom of our pit. We'll see you guys back soon. It's been roughly three hours. Let's take a peek at our firebox. Make sure you're careful in lifting this because it's quite hot. The griddle is gone jet black, and as you can see, the seasoning is starting to take on a nice dark color and will get darker over time. Let's take a look inside the cooking chamber. And the inside is looking quite dark as well. This thing is holding temp very well. I've been adjusting the tuning plates to make sure that we have an even distribution from right to left and from bottom to top. This thing is holding its temperature rock solid. Every on the hour, I've been adding a split of wood to uh, keep the temperature at 250. We'll check back in about three more hours and we'll show you the final process. It's been six hours and our seasoning is done. This thing ran like a dream. Once you have everything dialed in, it couldn't be any easier. As you can see, the door of the firebox is jet black. The lid of the firebox is getting there. The grill plate is also jet black, just like cast iron. 
The inside of our pit is also getting much darker and the more time to use it, the darker it will get. I am really chomping at the bit to put this thing to use and looking forward to using it on my first cook. If you guys like this video, make sure you guys leave comments below, hit that like button, that bell icon, and make sure you check out Lone Star Grills. They have phenomenal products. And until next time, guys, we'll see you then. Thank you.